Hey guys, this is Dr. Jonathan Maneri, and this video today is about uh, restoring a cervical curve in a patient that has arthritis, some degeneration, uh, even herniated discs. I've treated um, over 10,000 patients. I've been in practice for the last uh, 18 years, and I specialize in bad posture and restoring curves. So uh, I've got a lot of questions and comments on our videos and emails just about if I've got arthritis, if I've got herniated discs, uh, tingling and numbness and pain, uh, will the cervical block help? And like I said, I have a lot of patients use it. It's a wonderful tool to restore the curve. So a lot of people have lost the curvature in their neck. And so when they lose this curvature, it should be at 30 degrees back like this. They start to hunch forward. All the pressure is on these other discs. It starts to degenerate, pinch these nerves off then we get pain and, and stiffness and numbness and down our arms. So we have to get that curvature back. Right now you can see this patient, Sally, she's on the cervical block right now, really easy to use. It's made of condensed foam, very hard. You use it for 10 minutes a day to restore the curve. If you want to ramp it up and do it twice a day, once in the morning for 10 minutes, once in the evening, it's totally fine. When you first start out, if you've got herniated discs, bulging discs, degeneration and arthritis, spurs kind of let look like this. I'm not sure if you can see that, but those spurs, um, you, you have to start slow. You can't do this, you know, for 10 minutes uh, a day. You have to start out with two minutes, then you work out to four, then six, then eight, and then 10. In a few weeks, you'll be able to get up to 10 minutes. You'll start to see the pain and numbness go away as we restore that curvature. It can take up to three to six months for people to restore the full curve, especially if they have a reversal, which I'm going to show you on an x-ray right now, what that looks like. Okay guys, so now we're in our x-ray uh, area. We're going to look at, at a normal spine with a nice 30 degree curve. That's this x-ray. Uh, disc spaces are looking great with this patient, normal curvature. This patient over here, as you can see, is a different patient, has a reverse. So it's going the opposite way. We're starting to get more of a forward head tilt. Computers were on for years, bad posture. And what we're seeing is a lot of degenerative arthritis. Disc spaces here are closed down. We've got spurs growing, those calcium deposits that are laying down, and some of you may have that. So if the spine is straight or reverse like this, over years, we start to get symptoms. Uh, you know, this is C7, C6. These We get uh, tingling and numbness, maybe shoulder pain, neck pain. We start to maybe get some headaches. Um, so these nerves control a lot of important structures. Thyroid gland. Uh, we've got heart and lung here at C7, T1. So it's so important that we get a lot of these symptoms down. We reduce the nerves that are getting pinched with using that cervical block to restore the curve. If, if the patient is on the block, we'll get that curvature back in here. We should have reduction in all the symptoms, uh, stiffness, pain, numbness. We'll also stop laying down those calcium deposits, trying to fuse the spine together. So um, it's important you guys know what this looks like, what a normal x-ray should look like. It's a nice 30 degree curve here, uh, whereas this one, we're in trouble with the reversed or the straightening of the neck. Okay, another part of this is so important is that, especially if you're in pain right now and you're trying to restore the curvature back in your neck, if you want to get out of pain a lot faster, you really have to watch what, what you're eating. And I know a lot of people are like, well, that's a bunch of crap. That's not, you know, how does eating healthy relate to, to my pain? Well, um, it is very important. A lot of the latest research shows if you're consuming uh, salt, sugar, gluten, and dairy, and things that are slowing down your immune system, and not promoting healing, those products also, uh, salt, sugar, gluten, and dairy, also promote inflammation, more pain. You already have a pinched nerve. So on top of that, I really wouldn't eat foods that promote more inflammation and pain. So um, get off the gluten, the dairy, the sugar, the salt, alcohol, a lot of caffeine, not forever, just for a couple weeks until everything subsides. And you'll start, you'll heal faster, you have less pain. If you're doing that along with a cervical block or using that 10 minutes a day, or if you want to ramp it up once in the morning for 10 minutes in the evening, and you want to ice after this because it's going to stretch your neck, you want to just ice for a few minutes. If you're doing that, in a few weeks, you'll start to feel way better. The curvature is going to start to be restored, pressure off those nerves, you're not going to have to take the meds, 
and, and, and all those other products. So I appreciate you watching this video. If you've got herniated discs and arthritis and you have a lot of concerns, please email me or comment on this video um, to ask me any questions. Like I said, I've treated uh, thousands of patients over the last 18 years. A lot of people are scared and they're trying to go right to surgery and um, they have a lot of questions. Before you do that, just please ask me. Any questions you want, you can even email me your x-rays and I can talk to you about your x-rays um, and, and give you some advice. So um, if you want to order the cervical block, just click on the link below in this video. And uh, it's not that much. It's $35. It should be there just a few days. That way you can start working on feeling better. So thanks for watching the video and I hope to talk to you soon.